Question number 2020, question number 9A. This diagram is not done to scale. In the diagram, MN is 5 meters, that is MN 5 meters. XY is XY, that is 15 meters, and NY 18 meters. Calculate correct to one decimal, please. The I length MX. So we want to find the length MX. Okay, let's redraw it here. So make sure that in the answer sheet you redraw it. And then here, so NY. Now we can bring a line parallel to NY at M. So we can bring this line here. And then if this is 18, this is also 90, 90 degrees. If this is 18, this is also what? 18 meters. The NY is the same. Let's suppose that A. Let's suppose that so MA is the same as NY, which is 18 um, meters. Now, MN is the same as AY. So if this is 5 meters, this is also 5 meters. Now, XY is 15. So if this is 5, hence, this becomes 10 meters. So 10 plus 5, that is 15 meters. Now, the question says that we should find MX. So for us to find MX, clearly, what do you have? You have a right angle triangle. So using the Pythagoras theorem, so uh, using the Pythagoras theorem, we know that MX square is equal to MA square plus AX square. Now, what is our M? What is our MA? Our MA, so we have 18 square. What is our AX? That is 10 square. And this is our MX square. Now our 18 square is giving us 3, 2, 4, 10 square is 100. And 100 plus 10, that's 4. So we have 4, 2, 4. That is MX all square. Now we want to find the length MX. So the square will now go and change to become square root. We have 4, 2, 4. And working this on the calculator, this is giving us 2 root 106. And this is the same as, that is 20.59126. But then the question, what is the question saying? Calculate, correct to one decimal, please. Correct to one decimal, please. Hence, this correct to one decimal place. We have 20.59126. So correct to one decimal place. That would be this. But what is following is 9. That is 5 and above. So that would change this. And this is just equivalent to 20.6. That is centimeters. We know one decimal place. That is the first one. Now, what is the second question saying? The... Angle of depression of M from X. Angle of depression of M from X. So we have an angle here, and this angle is theta. But then this line is parallel to MA. Hence the angle here alternates to the angle over here. So we can find the angle that is theta, which is what? Tan, opposite over adjacent so clearly our second one that is tan theta opposite 10 all over adjacent 18 so our theta is tan inverse of 10 all over 18 and when we work out this we are getting that's 29.0546041 but then the question says correct to one decimal place so that's 29 point zero but what is falling is five so that'll change this so you have 29.1 degrees and we shouldn't forget that is one decimal place so that is the angle of depression of m from x is yes. that that is very easy if you've not subscribed please make sure that you do that we have a whole lot of videos to help you pass your exams now deck 2020 question number 9b the sixth and nine terms of a geometric progression that is gp are 48 and then 14 or number two over nine respectively find that the first one says that the common ratio 
and then the second one first term now the general term of a gp is giving us a r n minus one now you are being given that the fifth term is 48 so u of 6 is equal to 48 now u of 6 is what a r r n is 6 so 6 minus 1 equal to 48 and we have a r of 5 48 and this is equation 1 we have been given that the ninth term is 40 no number 2 over 9 so u of 9 that is 14 whole number 2 all over 9. Now u of 9 that is a r 8. Why 8? That is 9 minus 1. That is 8. Equal to now 9 times 14 is 126. It's 126 plus 2. That's 1, 2, 8 all over 9. And this is equation 2. Now we want to find um, we have to solve this simultaneously for our E and R. So what can we say? Equation 2 divided by equation 1. Now why 2 divided by 1? Clearly you can see if you have R to the power 8, R to the power 5. So this divided by this so that we can get positive. So with this we have A R 8 all over A R 5 equal to, that is 1, 2, 8 over 9 divided by we have 48 and this is, you see this and this will cancel but if you have r to the power m r to the power n that will become both a that is m minus n so here we have 8 minus 5 so we have that is r 8 minus 5 equal to now we have 1 2 8 over 9 times now this is over 1 so times that is 1 all over 48 now 16 will go into 48 3 times 16 will go into 128 that is 8 times 9 times 3 we have 27 8 minus 5 so we have r to the power 3 go to 8 all over 27 that is 9 times 3 27 now the cube now becomes what cube root so we have r equal to cube root 8 all over 27 and we can punch this on a calculator so when you punch this on the calculator you get 2 all over 3 so our r is equal to 2 over 3 or or now you have r to the power 3 8 you can express 8 as 2 to the power 3 27 you can express as 3 to the power 3 now this can be expressed as r to the power 3 we have 2 over 3 all to the power 3 and because the exponents are the same you can see what r is just 2 over 3 so you have our r to be equal to 2 over 3 <coughs> now we want to find that is a so we can see that put r to be equal to 2 over 3 into probably equation 1 for our first term. Now, what is equation one? You now we have a r, but our r is two over three, all to the power five, and this is equal to 40. So this one, two to the power five, we have 32, and then three to the power five, that is two, four, three, equal to 48. Now we want to find our a. Clearly our a will be equal to, that is, 48 times 2, 4, 3, all over 32. Simple um, equation. And solving this, this is giving us, that is 7, 2, 9, all over 2. And this is the same as, that is 3, 6, 4, whole number 1, over 2. So this is so this is that is three six four whole number one over two. So this is our first term. So the we say the first we should find a common ratio, which is our r, and then we had our r to be two over three. But then, but then the first term that is our a, which is three hundred sixty four whole number one over two. Very very trivial. If you've not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe and you see the books on the screen. Make sure you get a copy for yourself. No pain. 
no gain.